Hi, I'm Field Officer Hector Garfio of the Southeast Area Animal Control Authority, and I'm your Field Officer for the City of Buena Park, and welcome to Adopt-A-Pet. This is our 50th Adopt-A-Pet show. Over the years, we've highlighted hundreds of pets found and relinquished from their owners and are available for new homes from our Siaka Care Center. All animals shown on Adopt-A-Pet will be spayed or neutered, microchipped, and will receive a health check. They are ready to go home with someone who can provide a nice, loving home for them. If you like a pet you see on the program or recognize a pet as one missing from your neighborhood, be sure to get its number and contact Siaka to let us know you're interested in seeing a pet you saw on the program. All right, let's check out our featured animals. Our first animal here is Paisley. Her number is 1813850, female domestic shorthair. She's 12 years old, gray tabby, and she was a stray from the city of Downey. And you can tell this one is an adorable looking cat. Um, very, very easy going and great. Great for a good home. So if you're ready for a cat that is just easy going, Paisley's your cat. Our first doggy here is Daisy. Her number is 1823149. And Daisy's a little chihuahua, female, black, tan with white, adult, and she was a stray from the city of Lakewood. She is an adorable looking little thing here. And uh, let's, let's help her find a new home. And Daisy is a little teacup, a little tiny little thing. Beautiful looking dog. Hey, this little kitten here is Spice. She's a little female, domestic short hair, orange, white tabby. Her number is 1823107. -1 Spice is a female, two month old, and she is a stray from the city of Bell Gardens. Uh, you can tell she's a little girl, and she's ready for a new home. So let's help Spice. Hello buddy, this is Moose. Moose's number is 182257. He's a terrier mix, eight years old, male, he's tan white, and Moose is a relinquishment uh, from the city of Downey. Um, and again, he's got an orange band, which means he's ready to go home for the first person that wants to give this guy that for her home. So Moose uh, is again, ready for adoption. Uh, beautiful, beautiful dog, just ready to go to a new home, and I'm sure he'll make a perfect pet. So let's help Moose uh, find that forever home, folks. Hello, everybody. This is Darla. Her number is 1821222. Darla is a domestic short hair female calico. She's an adult, and she's a stray from the city of Norwalk. She has some beautiful green eyes nice active girl and just beautiful looking cat. Let's help Darla come with a new family for a forever home. Hey everybody, not only at Siaka do we have small dogs, we also have big breeds. Uh, it's big, small, medium size and they're all looking for that forever home. Xena here is a big breed and her number is 182240. 05 again 182205. She is a pit mix female. She's a puppy, 10 month old. She's a brindle with white. And uh, if you're that active family that's looking for the active dog that makes that perfect match, please come pick her up. Again, she is available. Uh, her number again is 182205. And again, a bundle of joy, energetic. And if you're that active family, the hikers, the, the, ones, oh, the ones that love to go out for those long trips, back, backpackers, you know, campers, this is her. This is the one you want. Come and get her. Hello, everybody. This is Darla. Her number is 1821222. Darla is a domestic short hair female calico. She's an adult and she's a stray from the city of Norwalk. She has some beautiful green eyes. Nice active girl and just beautiful looking cat. 
Let's help Darla come with a new family for a forever home. Hello everybody, this is Baby. Baby is 1824178. Baby Baby's a little terrier mix. She's a female white adult. She was found as a stray from the city of Pico Rivera and just in a gorgeous little thing. So let's help Baby and Baby find it at home. And she is just thick and lovable. So let's help Baby. Hi guys, this is Grace. Her number is 1819732. She's a 10 year old female domestic short hair, gray in color. She is a relinquishment, which means she was no, no longer able to be cared by the owners. So please let's help Grace find a new home. Uh, she's an adorable looking cat. Uh, very, very mellow, well taken care of and again, uh, was a relinquishment. So no longer being able to be cared by her owners. So if you guys can help us out, let's get Grace a new home. Hello everybody, this is Chewy. Chewy's number is 1823266. He's a little Chihuahua tan with white, male adult, and he was found as a stray in the city of Downey. He's a little nervous right now on camera, it's his first time, but yet, you know what? He'd be a great addition to your house. Please help Chewy and Siaka find him a new home. Hi, buddy. Hello, everybody, this is Casey. Casey is number 1823062. Casey is a domestic short hair female calico. She's an adult. She is a stray from the city of Pico Rivera. So if you know of anybody's missing a cat in the city of Pico Rivera that looks like Casey, please help us out. Otherwise, she's available for a new home. Casey's a calico and just beautiful looking cat. All right, Buena Park, listen up. This is Ralph. Ralph is a relinquishment from the city of Paramount. And if you're interested, his number is 1823884. He's a male four-year-old white with black poodle mix and just a great dog for anybody's new home. Um, just an easygoing dog uh, for a good apartment sized dog too. Ralph is just an amazing, amazing dog. Great coat, um, doesn't shed. So if you're interested with uh, adopting this guy, Ralph, his number again is 1823884. Hi, this is Samson. Samson, this big boy, is number 1821570. He's a domestic short hair, male, gray with white, adult. Uh, he was a relinquishment, again, from the city of Downey. Um, again, unfortunately, wasn't being able to be cared for by the owner, so he is available to a new home. Uh, orange band means he is ready to go home, so let's just help Samson find a new home and he is a great great big cat. Samson is just an adorable great looking animal. So please let's help Samson find a new forever home. As I mentioned in the beginning of the show this is our 50th episode at Adopt-A-Pet. Let's look back at some of those past episodes and many of our dedicated Siaka officers who have worked in the city of Buena Park. Hi! I'm Officer Woodside of the Southeast Area Animal Control Authority, and welcome to another edition of Adopt-A-Pet. These twins are Alva and Oda. They came in together. Their impound numbers are one zero. Also on this edition of Adopt-A-Pet, we will show you how we recover and process all our animals here at the Southeast Area Animal Control Facility. Here are three points for you to follow coming this summer. Number one, Without any circumstance, please do not leave your animals unattended in the vehicle. Our first dog here, his name is Squishy, and she was brought in as a stray from the Downey area. This little guy here is named Mo. His impound number is 16 dash You're watching Adopt-A-Pet. Our next pretty kitty here is named Nalu. Nalu means wave. And as you can see, she's very calm. 
This is our 25th show. We hope you enjoy Adopt a Pet as much as we love bringing it to you. Hey, Buena Park. We found this lovely cat at the 6900 block of faculty. So if we know who it belongs to, please contact us. It's been our pleasure helping these animals find forever homes. Remember, if you're looking for your lost pet or interested in adding a new pet to your home, check siaca.org and come to our Downey facility to see them for yourselves. We are sure you'll find that good natured cat or dog that will add that love to your family. That's all the time we have for this edition of Adopt a Pet. So, adios Buena Park, and we'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Hector, and I am a SIACA Animal Control Officer. Us field officers, uh, our, our number one goal and our objective is reuniting lost pets. Uh, we're here to help you, uh, educate you in regards to you know animal laws. It, again, it's not just feeding your dogs, uh, feeding your cats, walking your dogs. Uh, it, it, there's a lot to it. Uh, there's a lot of responsibilities to come with it. So uh, we, we are here to help you out, you know, keep your dogs and keep your cats with you safe and securing your properties. Uh, number one is, is the licensing. Uh, with licensing, you are required to have a rabies certificate, a current rabies shot for your dog, and noise complaints, uh, we also help with that. And anything that is in regards to stray animals, uh, assisting the residents relocate them back to their owners. Uh, families that are missing their dogs, their cats can also go to siaca.org and looking at the pictures that we post on a daily basis. All animals that come in at Siaca are pictured and are given a control number or I should say an impound number. An impound number will reflect that animal. It's a unique number to that animal and once you locate it you're more than welcome to come into the facility and uh, bring proof. Definitely you must bring proof so we can relocate them to the proper owners. Uh, we like to make sure that your animals are also microchipped. Microchipping your animals is extremely important, uh, especially for free-roaming cats. Um, you know, we have neighbors that like to uh, trap cats, you know, because there's an issue. So once your cat or your dog is microchipped, we're able to scan the dog on the field or the cat on the field and contact the microchip company to obtain your, uh, hopefully it is current and up-to-date information, and we can contact you and let you know and reunite you uh, with your pet on the field uh, in, uh, in hopes that we don't have to bring them in and impound them at the facility. The adopt a pet show is, is tremendous. It, it's one of those unique things where we can uh, show the pets that we have. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of pets that need new homes, uh, also stray pets that um, are lost, and a lot of the residents don't even know that they're at Siaka's facility. So when we show off these pets, uh, hopefully we're able to reunite them with their owners and their families. Uh, maybe their neighbors might notice a cat that we show on the show or a dog that we show on the show that, you know, we can relocate them back home um, and they can come back. And it's a great, great tool for us as well. Being a field officer is, you know, this, this is my office, you know, um, and, you know, going out to all these different calls every day, uh, helping the public, you know, you know, taking care of these animals. You know, it's every day is a new day. It's not a dull day, um, and it's not a repetitive day, which makes you know your job that much more exciting. Uh, makes you want to come to work, uh, help out the public, help out these poor animals that don't have a voice. You know, they, they can't speak for themselves, or you know they're uh, being abandoned, and we're able to assist and, and give them the help that they need.